All right, great. Thanks for joining us again. We are going to look at something a little different today. Instead of a theta trade, let's just go back in time. We'll use our time machine, our trade simulator, and we're going to compare a dragonfly to a condor with a Russell 2000 uh, index trade. And before we do, I'll scroll down. You can take a look at the risk disclosure here. You might want to take a picture of that or screenshot, but keep in mind that past performance is never a guarantee of future results and only risk capital should be used when trading. Okay, so here we go. We have a trading simulator. You can access that right up here in the menu, and I've already loaded a couple. We're going to look at the week three May expiration on the E-mini Russell 2000, and this is an iron condor trade. And here's what it looks like on the graph. Let me squeeze this down so you can see a little bit more of the screen. You'll notice you can, there's a uh, series of buttons here that look like a tape recorder, if you remember those things. And you can step forward and see how the trade would be playing out day by day. And you'll notice the RTI colors are changing from green to yellow and so forth. I won't go into all the details on that, but essentially that means um, a slightly bit of elevated risk when it turns yellow. And you can see the trade is still negative, and that's because theta decay hasn't really had a chance to work yet. But now the RTI is back to green. And the trade is now profitable, and it's matured enough here on May 3rd and we have a blue RTI, and that means it's a time to take profits. So that can be done automatically. Theta Trader will scan your account, and when you have a blue RTI, the order is placed automatically for you. So keep that in mind. That's on May 3rd. The algorithm says it's time to get out of the trade, take your uh, profit on this trade, and move on. And that's on May 3rd, and this is for the Iron Condor. And now we're going to look at the same expiration the week three, and that's also in the E-mini Russell 2000. Instead of a condor, we're gonna do a dragonfly. So we'll go ahead and just kind of step day by day. And of course you can go right to the end at once, but this is just for demonstration purposes. You can see the RTI changing color is similar to what it did. And actually we get an orange RTI, so elevated risk, but still do nothing. The algorithm says don't do anything. And we just kind of trade day by day here. And you get a blue RTI, take profits, and that's on May 6. So you can see sometimes there's a difference between the dragonfly and the RTI um, and the condor in terms of the RTI. And that's just because of the different trade structure. So May 6, you get a signal on the dragonfly to take profit. And then here on May third you had a signal on the condor and now oftentimes it works the other way around where the dragonfly will give you uh, an earlier exit opportunity but not this particular time so i just wanted to kind of show you something that uh, was a little bit unique and you can for the demonstration here i can just show you how you can just go right to the end on any trade you don't have to spend all that time uh, going click by click but I did want to point that out. And then also one other thing here before we let you go. You'll notice the trade structure on the dragonfly uh, with the three legs on the puts and the three legs on the calls. And of course that differs from the condor with the two legs uh, on the calls and the two on the put. And the short puts here on the dragonfly you would be selling four of these and then buying one higher strike price and then three further out of the money. And the same structure with the calls, selling four calls, and then you would buy three further out of the money calls and then one closer to the money call. So that's the difference in the structure on the dragonfly versus the condor. And we like the dragonflies a lot. We probably do more of those than condors. Uh, oftentimes, a condor might get under pressure and turn into a losing trade and a dragonfly will not and 
or you can exit the dragonfly earlier than a condor, typically speaking, not in this particular case, as you saw, but just wanted to point that out, kind of an anomaly. You don't see that often where the condor actually uh, matures more quickly than the dragonfly. Okay, very good, that'll do it. And we encourage you to sign up for a free demonstration account. Uh, you'll get trade alerts for free and you can play with the simulator and I think you really enjoy using uh, Theta Trader. It's intuitive and user-friendly. Use the link below to sign up and get a free demo account and we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Right,